below. What is up guys, it is Tony here, and today we are doing another affordable gaming computer build. Last week we did the AMD build, and this week we are doing the Nvidia one for all those Nvidia fans out there, because uh, I am one of them, and I know some of you guys have uh, software, or you have an Nvidia shield, and you need something that'll work with all of that stuff. So, basically this build is the same exact build except with an NVIDIA setup, so we're going to go ahead and get right into it. So first off, for the CPU of course, we're going to go with the AMD FX 6300. This of course is a well-rounded 6-core processor that will pretty much just allow you to do any gaming you need to do. It's not perfect for doing any sort of production work, but it's good enough for gaming. For the motherboard, we're just going to go with a simple motherboard that supports the processor, supports the graphics card. This isn't an overclocking board, this isn't an, you know, an insane tweaker type of board, but it's good enough for doing what you need to do, all of the essentials and reliability. For the RAM, we're just going to go with, once again, something very simple, some value memory. Uh, you can upgrade this up to 16 gigabytes if you want to, but we're starting out with 8 gigabytes here, plenty enough for running pretty much every game on the market right now. And for the GPU, we're going to go with the EVGA GTX 750Ti. This is next generation graphics. It is on the lower end of the uh, spectrum. You can go with the 760 if you really want to, but this is good enough for most gaming. It does not support SLI, by the way. And for the hard drive, we're going to go with the 1TB Seagate hard drive. This is just a simple 1TB, gets you all the storage you need. It's pretty quick, 7200 RPM, 64 megabytes cache. And down the road, you can put an SSD if you really do need more speed. And for the power supply, of course, we're just going to go with some sort of value power supply here. Uh, fortunately, it is a reliable brand. This is EVGA's 500B 500 watt power supply. This will be able to power all the components very efficiently. And last but not least, with the case, we're just going to go with a high airflow case. Great airflow, no need to water cool. It's a great mid tower, and it's from a great brand. So that is pretty much it. That is the affordable NVIDIA build. I wanted to do this build mainly because uh, a lot of the people who saw the AMD build may have preferred the NVIDIA build. So basically it's playing off the same idea. For those who are wondering about any sort of components in here, these are all interchangeable. It's all up to you if you guys are making your own build. It's all up to you what you want to do. If you really want an SI build or a build that could be upgraded down the road, you definitely want to spend a bit more on a 760 and a bit more on the power supply. Uh, but otherwise, this build is pretty much made to go. It's, it's a great build just to um, put a few bucks into, enjoy it while you have it, and probably you will have to upgrade two years down the road, even a year down the road. It's not exactly a future-proof system by any means, but of course, it's only 650 That's a very good price uh, for a gaming computer that can handle the graphics performance that this thing can. But anyway, that is pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed the video or you have any feedback at all, leave it below in the comments and like this video, and I'll see you guys next time.